What's up guys, it's that racing game guy here. Today I'm building a drag fox body. Now maybe it's kind of stereotypical for a drag car to be a fox body Mustang, but just you know for the sake of today's video, we'll do a fox body. I'll do some stuff later on, I'll do a Chevy SS, and you guys can definitely leave suggestions down below and I'll be looking through those. Um, I think a lot of feedback I've gotten says kind of almost take a break from drift cars and do some drag cars. A lot of people are wanting to see drag racing, so I'm going to do that a little bit. Um, I'll still be doing drag builds, so you know I'll look back through older videos and look at the comments and look at suggestions and stuff, and I'll still be doing those. I'm not going to stop doing those, but just to switch it up a little bit, I'm going to do some drag cars, um, starting with the Fox body. To show you guys what I have done to it, I'll right, go in the dude. garage here. Let me know what you need. I did not do a motor swap, so I still have the stock, you know, the 5.0, 302, twin turbo, uh, stock rear wheel drive drivetrain. Going to keep it rear wheel drive on my cars, or well, I should say, I'm going to keep my cars the factory drivetrain. I'm not going to change the drivetrain in any of them, maybe just one or two of them. I've already shown you my BRZ build and that one was converted to all-wheel drive but I'm not going to convert many of them, just a couple of them here and there. Um, I don't I'm not, I don't even have to go into this and show you all this, this is all fully upgraded. Suspension, it's all fully upgraded. Rally suspension, lowered all the way in the front, lowered about halfway in the rear, just to allow some weight transfer, let it get the weight in the back. I'm trying to get it to do a wheelie, so I'm, I'm hoping I can manage to get it there and make it do a wheelie. Off, I should say, a wheelie off the line, not going down the track. See, upgraded tires and everything. The front tire width I left alone just to kind of reduce the weight a little bit. Uh, put some drag wheels on it. Lumistar, or Weld Racing Lumistar wheels. Let's see. As far as aero and appearance, I left that alone except for that hood, the massive air intake hood. A ram air hood, that's, sorry, I completely forgot the term, completely blanked on the term for a second there. But that, that ram air hood, massive ram air hood. And as far as the paint, I gave it a carbon fiber wrap, as you can kind of see a little bit there. Because everybody knows when you wrap a car in carbon fiber, it reduces about a thousand pounds. I'm just kidding, it doesn't really, but it looks good. It looks cool, and it looks fast, I guess. Now, as you can you can tell, the rear suspension is really loose. It has a nice amount of squat, and it has a lot of body roll in the rear. Oops. That's why you don't turn around while you drive forward, typically. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, and I might go back and do a motor swap here in a second after I see what it'll what I can get it up to but I'm gonna go to this far end of the airport here because the speed trap is there and what I did last time with the BRZ build the BRZ was more of a mile long drag car build this Fox body is a quarter mile build and the best I guess representation of that that I can do in the game is this racing to the speed trap from this side of the airport, from the beginning of the airport, racing this part here is roughly a mile. Racing this part here, if you start at the far end of the airport and go backwards to the speed trap, that represents about exactly a quarter of a mile. So and like I said, my BRZ and a few other cars that I have are mile long drag cars, so I'll be racing in this part. And some like this Fox body and probably the Chevy SS are going to be quarter mile drag cars. So they'll be, you know, racing from 
basically from the finish to the start, kind of almost. But racing from this side to the speed trap. So, oops, I meant to fast travel there. I don't want to take the time to drive there. If only that were a real thing, just teleport where you want to go because you don't really feel like driving there. But then again, what car enthusiast doesn't want to drive? <laughs> I mean, unless your race car is down and you have to drive a slow daily, then I always want to drive. Let's see, I'll line up here, make that like crosswalk looking thing the start line. Start back here on the pavement, preferably. A little bit of a burnout to warm the tires up. I don't think it actually does anything in the game, but oops. Just to make it a little more real, just to get, yeah, have some fun, do a burnout because this car rips burnouts so easily. All right, not gonna launch in reverse. People have done that, and it it's embarrassing. All right. As you can tell, the car is very low geared. So I finished at 127, 128. And the reason I know that that's about a quarter mile is because Realistically, that's about what this car would do. It is about a 130 mile an hour quarter mile. But I'm going to see if I can't adjust the tuning some and get it maybe to about 135. So I'm going to go back here to the start. Oops. It's so hard to kind of inch this car forward in the game just because there's so much horsepower. All right, let me adjust the tuning some in here. See, I got tire pressure set like this. Um, gearing, as you see here, I turned up the, f the final drive. I put the rally suspension in, or the, I'm sorry. I did put the rally suspension in it, but I also put the rally transmission because the launch was a lot better than the race transmission. I, I don't know why that is, but it was, so I said, hey, I'll take it. So this is the rally transmission and I turned up the gear ratio, the final drive gear ratio from, it was a 4.4 or a 4.5, turned it up to 4.9. Let's see, my 0 to 60 is slower than I would like it to be, but it's not too bad. I wish there was a drag tire compound in Horizon 2, like there is Forza Motorsport 4. But I may go back to Forza Motorsport 4 for a little bit and make some drag cars there, just because it is a little bit easier to make a drag car, and there's also set quarter mile drag strips where I can actually time the car and not just judge by speed. Now th this car finishing a quarter mile, if that actually is a quarter mile, this car finishing the quarter mile at 130 miles an hour, it would be in the tens, uh, roughly. Tens, maybe 11, maybe low 11. So that's, you know, that's about like the realistic time of this car. But unfortunately, Unlike Forza Motorsport 4, I have, and hopefully Forza Motorsport 6, we'll see when that comes out in September, but unlike that game, unfortunately, I can't time the car in this. I mean, I can do, like, I can count it off and say, you know, 1001, 1002, but it's, that's not that accurate. But I'm going to go ahead, see if I can't loosen this up a little bit. Maybe I want it. I want it to do a wheelie really bad. Really want to see it do a wheelie. I'm gonna stiffen up the front a little bit more. All right. I'll raise up the rear a little bit more. 
Maybe get a little bit more weight transfer in the rear, hopefully. Um, hmm. Go ahead and turn that all the way down. Turn that up a little bit. At this point, I'm just playing around with it just to see what I can do. See if see what this does. I haven't tried this yet. That car really leans forward. Looks awesome. Makes the rear tires look a little bit bigger, honestly. Well, I went so. Oops. Alright, now that was still climbing pretty fast. Now, I messed up on that run. I'm not pleased with that run, so I'm going to go do another. You can really see that squat more when you accelerate. I love the look of that. Being really big into drag racing myself, I absolutely love watching a car do that. Alright, let's see if I can't get it straightened up a little bit here. Alright, that's pretty good. Pretty good start on the line there. Shifted much better that time. Alright, so 129. So I increased it by one mile an hour. Need more traction though. I have good traction in, uh, after first gear, but first gear the traction is terrible. So maybe if I raise this a little bit, it might be a little bit too low, which sounds kind of crazy, but it can be a little bit too low, so maybe 20 PSI instead of 15 will help. Um, maybe if I turn this down just a little bit, not enough to actually affect the simulated acceleration time. So let's see how far I can go, how low I can lower this gear without actually affecting the simulated 0 to 60 time. 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 because I'll need both for this. Lowered it quite a bit. See, when you have a higher gear ratio like that, you spin tires easier. Let's see here. I'm actually lowering that 0 to 100 now. So that's a plus. Whoops. See, if I can keep that 0 to 60 where it is, and lower that 0 to 100 under 7 seconds, that would be great. But oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. See, 3.7, 3.58. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Let's see here. That's about as low as I can go. So that's not bad. I'm pleased with that. As far as this goes, um, don't think any camber in the rear would help. Oh, it did help the 0 to 100. Let's see. Negative 2 degrees. See what that does. Now that surprises me that it would help. Okay, I'm not going to lower it that much. Like I'm going to add as little as I can just so I can get maximum tire coverage on the ground. Set it at negative 0.5 degrees. Because with camber, camber actually takes tire surface off the ground if you do it enough, like a significant amount of camber. And that's absolutely opposite of what I want. Sorry to be Captain Obvious here, but for traction you want maximum 
tire on the ground. Maybe if I stiffened up that anti-roll bar just a little bit. No, it didn't do anything. Let's see here. Stiffen up the front even more. Just go ahead and all the way with that. Didn't really affect anything, but see if I can't get it to do a wheelie. Maybe if I raise that up a little bit more. No, it did nothing. That's alright. It'll allow for more motion, more weight transfer to the rear. If I raise it up just a little bit more. See, I'm going to stiffen this stuff up a little bit more. I might go back and do downforce parts. Not sure yet. As far as this goes, let me see what this does. This doesn't affect that at all. Let me try that. Let me see how this does. Oh, I am going the right way. Gets good traction. Nope, it's not going to do a wheelie. Man, come on. Alright. Round four, or whatever this is. Let's wheel spin almost through third. Not happy with that shift out of fourth. Not happy with that shift out of fourth at all. But I did raise the time a little bit. I don't think I'm going to get it to 135 on this motor with uh, playing with the tuning. I'm going to do one more run like that and see if I can't get it above 130. Then I'm going to go do a 7.0 liter V swap. No. No, I would not. I am in my own event now. Alright. Oops. A little too far. That moment your car has so much power that the idle breaks the tires loose. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Yes, got it. Okay. I'm pleased with that. It's not bad. Alright. Go ahead and go to the hub here. You know, I should have gone back to the, the main hub. Because then I wouldn't have to pay to fast travel. I just realized that, but uh, that's okay, whatever. I got it down to 5,000 credits to fast travel. It's not too bad. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that 7.0 liter V8 swap. 